Okay, so if it wasn't already clear from the literal hours of battle talent content on my channel, I kinda sorta like this game. But as of last week, I beat the final boss. Oh my god, I beat the game. And I needed another challenge. So I figured I would take you on a field trip to see what top tier mods are available now for this game. Please let this be a normal field trip with a friend. First up is a mod by Slightly Serious Sam, and what did they do? Well, they went over to Mordor and dipped their computer in the fires of Mount Doom to create the hardest mod I've ever seen. This is Through the Fire and the Flames in VR. You spawn into a little pixelated room with a button, then go down a hallway, you know, great. You find some buttons that kind of telegraph the message of do not walk here, so you just kind of walk in between and hope for the best as some little gobbies try to surprise you. Then there's a mini boss in a tiny hallway, you, you kind of stepping it up a bit, fun challenge. You turn one more corner though, and you find yourself in an instant death gauntlet as they proceed to bombard you with way wave after wave of multiple copies of every enemy in the game. They double up on mini bosses. They double up on the bosses. This mod is a cardiovascular nightmare, so you better be playing on carpet unless you want your literal gallons of gamer sweat sending you to the ER after you slip and fall VR headset first. There's turning it up a notch, and then there's turning it up to the point of the ozone layer piecing out and just letting the sun burn you to death like it just nailed the sickest no-scope the solar system has ever seen. This mod is almost literally unplayable. For the, almost the first time, I had to break out the cheat menu, which I never do. I gave myself 15 100 HP, a double jump perk, infinite mana, and unbreakable weapons, and I still almost died. I had to top off with another 500 HP just to finish recording, and it still almost wasn't enough since the orc boss at one point just slapped my crucible sword out of my hand and off the map. Let's take a step back for a second though. If you like sweaty VR games like me and your lenses or glasses keep fogging up when you're playing on your Quest 2, you should check out this vented facial interface from today's sponsor, Kiwi Design. I bought this before they even sponsored me, so believe me, I love this thing. It made the difference between me being able to play for an hour tops to being able to play for hours on end without even taking off the headset. I'm a sweaty boy and having to stop playing VR just because moisture decided to collect on some glasses Ass, it really sucks. So if that sounds like you, you should probably check these out too. I'll leave an affiliate link down below for you to check out, but thank you to Kiwi Design for sponsoring today's video. So my intention here isn't to rank these mods or even show off a must-have list or anything, I just want to share some mods that I've been having fun with. So I'll post a link to all of them down below if you want to check them out for yourself. Among all of these mods though, there are some that are absolute bangers. First of all, someone went ahead and made both the Big Daddy and Big Sister bosses from the Bioshock series, and they're completely terrifying and actually challenging. They use custom noises, they use some of the newer enemy templates for a moveset, and it just works so well. Okay, that made that fight a little more intense. As another level, Goro Genio here made a map called The Forest. You need to download something like this Torch Mace mod that emits light in order to see anything, but essentially you're just on a highway and need to survive in the dark. And because I love to get immersed, I tried to record some footage of me role-playing, I guess? I, I, I don't know. What the hell is this? So you just go along this road, then you're suddenly under attack by a dark elf. You go a bit further, and then... Oh man. This is terrifying. Oh my god. Yeah, so some of the tougher enemies in this game all have red glowing eyes that you can see even in pitch black darkness. So not only are you alone and afraid in the dark with just torchlight to guide you, but you're also fighting legit bosses in here, sometimes only relying on their eyes to tell you where they are. It's terrifying. There are like a thousand mods on there now currently, so I'm, I'm sorry if I didn't mention your favorite one, but comment down below, let us all know what your favorite one is so we can check them all out. Now for the elephant in the room, why aren't there a ton more mods available for Battletown yet? Well, the modding process is currently kind of complex and difficult apparently. Luckily, the developer of Battletown has outlined their roadmap for updates for the rest of the year, which includes things like a refresh on the mod toolkit, a new chapter of levels, and story modding support. I'm most excited about that last one there, because above all else, I want the possibility for like full-length story to be moddable into battle talent somehow. I'm really hoping that's what that is. I mean, just imagine taking an entire like RuneScape or Skyrim quest and porting it into VR with voice acting and custom levels, but with the physical interaction of battle talent. I'd, I'd never want to play another VR game ever again. I'd be stuck in here. I'd just plug myself into the Matrix forever. Anyways, that's gonna be it for me, pretty much. Uh, become a member of the Discord Larrytown USA to chat, hang out, or stay up to date on what's going on. Link is down below. If you're looking for another video to watch, you should check out the Breachers video I posted last week. The game is actually going really strong, even two months after release. Uh, cheers, guys. You aren't even ready for this. <sighs>